Hey good people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm going to be doing two fragrance reviews. I hope you watched the last episode where I put up 10 blue fragrances for upcoming summer. So I have uh, two fragrances, one from House of Steven. This episode is going to be Navitu's Perfumes and I'm trying to actually finish all individual reviews for those who wanted to know about his fragrances, let you know if they're worth it, how do they smell like, performance, stuff like that. Second episode I'm going to be covering Mugler House but there are less exceps exceps exception. <laughs> I think they say it French a bit different, but they're more upper class niche fragrance side. And it's gonna be also official sample review. So before I start, uh, the fragrance we're gonna be covering today is called Primus, okay? And this samples, it's uh, sent by Steven to me all the way from States to Bangladesh. Thank you so much, Steven. I really appreciate it. It's really unbelievable uh, and wonderful gesture. I have received, uh, had received three full bottles and this sample set, discovery set rather, of all his seven fragrances and uh, these fragrances are retailing for $195 and you can find this on their website and also they have a Facebook page, I'll leave the links below, you can check. So these fragrances, I would suggest uh, instead of blind buying because they're expensive, you better get a sample set or discovery set uh, so you can actually try the fragrances before deciding which one you like, if they're worthy of your money and time. So they are really wonderful 3 presentations and these box features really nice magnet here uh, so it is very very nice they are detailing all over it looks kind of like the amouage presentation style box and very up class uh, it reminds me sort of like uh, jubilation 25 uh, box okay so we'll be talking from this sample this sample I sprayed on the paper and I'll let you know my thoughts I did initial impression uh, all, all the seven fragrance one video and this is gonna be more in-depth on that so before I start I want to give you two heads up First of all, my scent of the night, I actually am not very well. I'm having some chest pain and everything. I don't know what that's all about for the last five days. So I updated in my group, but uh, I'm going for some tests very soon. Just check up what's happening, but it's a little bit uh, scary. So uh, hopefully you pray for me and I, I hopefully it's nothing serious. So I slept basically the whole day. I'm sleeping a lot, feeling very weak, but hopefully you can hear me. So my scent of the night after I woke up was this one, Dioro Parfum. And I'm getting... Um, new bottle tomorrow that is going to be the more newer version of Dioron Parfum and I'm so excited to tell you the difference between that and this one if there is any in upcoming few days okay so that is going to be a special fragrance review because this is very very special should be in their niche line second thing I want to show you I have reviewed this perfume so I don't want to re-review I actually received this fragrance Wajan by Parfum de Marly and this is from their oriental line very special packaging not the other packaging like and this one they have kind of like Tom Ford sort of presentation they have a card inside like this or so they have some uh, sorry <laughs> some introduction or something about the house talk okay I'm taking a little bit time so I hope you bear with me and then it has this nice little podium kind of velvety you can see and inside is also very nice protection for the box very beautiful I just wanted this for the box and this one I bought it from one of my brothers and fragrance community Shapi Bhai thank you so much for the wonderful bottle I bought it as a partial and this is Wajan. I just absolutely love this fragrance. I have to have it as a masterpiece. If you love uh, Hermes, I think Ambre Nargile, that is discontinued, hard to find. Try this out, 125 ml juice, cinnamon, honey, lot of these uh, notes, just sweet and just a little bit spicy, very masculine and dark, amazing sexy juice, okay? Definitely try out Wajan. So now time to move on to the review. <clears throat> so this perfume, uh, Navitu's Perfumes is a luxury line from Steven. If you do not know by now by any chance, he's a fragrance reviewer and he's one of the best. To me, he's the best in terms of numbers because I take his reviews very seriously. He's in depth. He goes from A to Z. You guys know all this. So he recently launched his fragrances. I'm assuming you didn't see my other episodes, so I'm giving a little bit of intro in every video. And he re uh, introduced seven perfumes, not one, two, seven. Two are oud based, our five others are different genre of perfumes, oud tobacco, leather, booze, you know, fresh. So this is, I think, part of their fresh collection, okay? And this perfume, uh, it's getting a um, lot of talk because people say this is their most favorite. So uh, Primus perfume, its perfume concentration comes in 100 ml and that's gonna cost you $195 before shipping. So perhaps in upcoming days, you might see some discounts or some codes for your uh, country. So just wait, I would suggest, suggest you wait to see what happens. So here is my initial thought. So when I smell it at first, 
it seems like something on the dry down it goes to something else and the fragrance i think i said in my initial impression what i get it uh, this one similar to so this one has a sprayer and let's spray this and talk about it oh, one second okay let's just go on spray so these treable samples are very generous because you can get to actually test them uh, really before pulling the trigger okay so i can smell the right uh, opening so people are saying this is more close to aventus okay creates aventus and this is similar or more of more or less all their fragrances are inspired by something so i'm not gonna say these are pinpoint clones of anything even that ultra male similar fragrance that i did before i think that was uh intimus i think yeah, intimus but i really found out on the dry down that one it's really different from ultra male in many ways ultra male was sort of like a vanilla dry down and uh, uh, intimus was more about fruity more uh, like a fresher take for i think more versatile than uh, ultra male but i said ultra male is more uh, bang for your buck so this one when you spray it for the first time it doesn't smell exactly like aventus but it has sort of like a fruity opening that reminds me of some of the inspired fragrances that was uh, following aventus okay it has this lemon uh, i'm not gonna say this is my most favorite opening i like the nabus a lot that one has this beautiful neroli lemon and very nice sort of a fruity opening this one smells a little bit of a uh, to me uh, it's not my most favorite citrus type okay so this one perhaps has pineapple or some other notes maybe apples or black currant i'm not sure but the opening i'm not very big fan of it smells a little bit like green also okay so kind of smoky green uh, citrusy opening but my best favorite most favorite part of this perfume is the dry down it actually smells pretty pleasant of course again not my most favorite because it smells very close to Hachivat by Nishane and Hachivat is one perfume it's super hyped Ani, Hachivat and I believe a uh, few other fragrances are really hyped uh, I did not give them very high score because I felt like it was a bit choking this one is not as choking but on dry down it goes to that kind of like a milky Aventus uh, DNA that one is actually featured in Hachivat so Hachivat is very nice it's kind of like a musky uh, green almost like think of uh, Aventus mixed with Hugo Boss bottled unlimited I think unlimited the white bottle yeah so it has a musky tone it has citrus it has pineapple but it has this beautiful uh, milky sort of property that carries it through throughout the next hours this perfume is supremely long lasting okay it lasts almost close to Hachivat but Hachivat is a lot more uh, bold a lot more projecting I think that one is a lot more out there so this is more wearable version of Hachivat in my humble opinion so if you compare the price Hachivat in Bangladesh I think is going for not also cheap but cheaper than this one Navitus so if you compare these two I'm not saying this is a pinpoint clone but it's gonna remind you a lot of Hachivat so if you ask me um, which one you're supposed to buy I will say even though I do not like Hachivat I think you should look into Hachivat because you're gonna get a 100ml for better price tag in Bangladesh but I don't know overseas if it's more than this one maybe you should take Navitus okay simple so it's basically the price point where it comes down to you know both have 100 ml juice but i think in terms of the bottle presentation i think uh, steven's bottles are more premium than hachivat on say nishane fragrances so overall this perfume longevity is great i'll give it 9 out of 10 projection would be like a 8.5 out of 10 uh, versatility i think this is a fresh semi fresh semi fruity and uh, deep perfume so longevity wise i think you can wear this all year round no problem 10 out of 10 versatility for value you know this is where I would give it like I'm not sure okay and you guys know like Steven I keep my reviews straight up frank okay if this one uh, I would actually rather prefer if this was more like an uh, Aventus direction because Aventus Aventus Cologne or Elysium mix that would be great but Hachivat for some reason is just something I do not find to be uh, it's good but not hype worthy you know so this perfume uh, I think you should get a sample first. You shouldn't buy the full bottle just yet. This is good, but the price is a bit too high for my liking. If it comes down to same price as Hachivat, I would say Hachivat or this is same value. Okay. So overall, I'm giving this uh, seven out of ten because of the price range is a bit higher. If the price comes down to hundred, hundred something dollars or hundred below hundred fifty, it's gonna get eight eight point five. Okay. So try out uh, Primus perfume from House of Navitus. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much, Stephen, for your generosity. And time to move on to the second review. See you soon. Bye-bye.